Justin Bieber, welcome to the world famous rooftop and to Shazam Top 20, man. We have to say, uh, we host the equivalent of, in America, the Billboard Awards. So we're the guys who count down the ARIA chart. And it's been awesome to Thanks. do four weeks in a row with What Do You Mean? Yes. It's a banger. We love it. Thank you. Congrats. What does it mean to you to get four weeks here in Oz, your first number one? Uh, it means the world. Um, first number one. Uh, I remember hearing it the first time on the radio and I teared up a little bit. I've been tearing up a lot yeah. lately. I saw that on your Snapchat when you heard it on the radio. Yeah. Know, like New York on Z100 yeah. or something, that was cool. There's nothing wrong with crying. We have a saying on our show that legends cry. Legends cry. Legends cry, mate. So I guess that means you're a legend. I've heard you say before that music is like a sixth sense to you. Mm. Did that sixth sense kick in when you were in the studio making What Do You Mean? Did you know then that it was gonna be so huge for you? I, um, I didn't know how big it was gonna be necessarily, but I remember hearing the song and being really inspired when I heard it and just wanting pe the world to hear it and wanting, wanting the world to hear that, um, <clears throat> just that side of me, you know? I haven't really talked like that before. I was kind of in a puppy love stage before. Yeah. Right. Um, well, I mean, you've been in the, in the doing singing music and been in the spotlight for such a long time. To get yeah. your number one when you're in this new phase, you're in this new mature music, uh, do you think it's better than getting it when you were younger with Baby or like all around the world or something like that? Um, I don't know. I think uh, everything happens according to God's timing, so I guess it's just his timing. So it must be such a sense of relief for you. It's a huge risk a couple of years out of the spotlight and to come back with this track. Yep. Is it relief now that it's out there and people have responded so positively? It is. I mean, it's definitely a relief. Now I'm still stressed out about the album, though, you know, because mm. it's like I worked so hard on it. I want people to like it. Well, I mean, it's, is it completed yet? Because you were here in Melbourne last night, you were in a studio, so we've got to ask, were you recording some new tracks? I finished you... it. I finished the album here. You finished the album here in Melbourne? That is the coolest. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? What did that happen? What, what, what was the finishing touches? Like the last mix? Or? Um, we just had to finish the last song cool. and uh, just put some touches on some other songs. Now you work with Rick Rubin on this album, who is a legend. What did he bring to the sound of this album? What did you learn from him? Um, what did I learn from Rick? I think just how to just breathe and just be be still and just yeah. work on the music and enjoy it and have fun. And He's worked with um, some, I know, our Everyone, favorite artist, yeah, Kanye yeah. West and the tune and name yep. a couple now. He calls himself a reducer, not a producer. Did mm. he come in and like pull some stuffs out? Um, what did he do? He, uh, he's just, his ear is amazing. Yeah. He just hears different things that I think people don't really hear. He's, his, um, he's, he's definitely a reducer though. Yeah. He's, he's not the guy to come in and push all the buttons and stuff. He's more of the guy in the background. Though. Awesome. Well, we're loving What Do You Mean in that sound, but on this new album, are we going to hear some sexy slow jam as long as you love me, boyfriend, baby There's making music? Them. There's a couple of them, yeah. How many baby making tunes are we talking? Um, I don't know. Any There's fondue like in front of the fireplace oh. references? No, there's not. What? No fondue? I know, right? I'm, no not fondue. I'm not buying the album just now, you were listening to some mixes so on his, from your Snapchat on the way over here. Was that your own mixes? Were you listening to the Drake yeah. and Future mixtape? What mixes was Justin No, no, my to? mixes. So, um, basically, when you do an album, it goes through different processes. Like, it goes to mix and mastering. And yeah. so, uh, as they touch up the files and um, fix the EQs and put all the different stuff on it, um, I just have to approve all the different mixes and cool. it's like, Bowls. it's stressful. So flying for us is like the one time that you can turn your phone off. off. You have, I do my like meditation and prayer on the planes and cause I don't know, journals. I watch movies. <laughs> I watch movies. So do you ever not work? Like when is the time where you have your slow, or your solace, your quiet, your skateboarding, whatever it is? I've, uh, I haven't gotten a lot of time recently cause I'm in go, go, go. But um, once things start settling down, I'm gonna, like I don't know, I'm just trying to figure this this all all this stuff out yeah. again because it's been a minute. Yeah. yeah. So just learning how to take my time and when to take my space in my dressing room and because I don't like I don't like I hate confrontation. So I don't like telling people to like, hey guys, you don't hang out here because especially when I'm just trying to build relationships and stuff again because yeah. I've been so guarded. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's all. Just figuring it all out again. We have to ask, um, you've now completed the album here in Melbourne. You know who's going to be on the album. The amount of tweets of people who want to know if Ariana Grande Seriously. is on Justin Bieber's new album is ridiculous. All day, okay. She's singing your song in her she's concert. She's not on His the face album. Is but she's, uh, I think she might do some remixes or something yeah. like that. Yeah, Able, The weekend. I don't, it's like... I, can't, I don't know if I can. <laughs> He's avoiding eye contact. Well, yeah. the next question was going to be, we know that 
there was some reaching out between you and Zane, but I mm -hmm. guess that's another. No, we secret. we didn't work on anything, me and Zane, but uh, I haven't actually talked to him in a couple of years. Right. But I hope he's doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, hashtag November 13. It's a big day. Justin Bieber's album is going to drop. We don't know what it's called yet. Can you tell us what it's called? Yeah, I can't. Ah, no, no, See, no. I was trying to get a scoop. I was never going to get that. No. You've got to just try sometimes, hey? Yep. But you are going up against, well, not going up, you're releasing your album on the same day as One Direction. Yep. Was that planned? Were you going to go for, like, remember 50 Cent versus Kanye West? On the yeah, I remember cover? that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really know how that happened, but yeah. I'm, I'm it's down with it, whatever. Yeah. 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 What are you proud of, proudest of on this new album? I'm just, I'm just proud that I did it by myself. And yeah. I didn't have other people come in and tell me what to do or tell me what to record. It was like all from my heart. And yeah. I think that's part of growing up, whether you're in the spotlight like you or like us, plebs, when you kind of get to an age where you trust yourself and you know what you want and you know that you can do it. Yeah. Do you feel like now there is a trust within yourself that's separate from what people For sure. tell you? And I think uh, there's a trust within my camp too now, knowing that the music that I'm making is working, right? Because yeah. if it, I don't know. They took a chance for sure to let me do what I wanted to do, but not really. I don't even know if they took a chance. I think that they, that was the reason why I got signed in the first place was because of my talent, but yeah. it takes a lot because there's so many people and so many things that go along with the process of making an album. Um, and, uh, and it's been going a certain way with pop stars for so many years now. So I've been kind of like trying to just break those trends and um, just change what, because like, I don't know, pop stars are so branded. And so I'm just trying to like take off, peel off all the layers and just like give myself and yeah. like, I don't know. Does that make sense? It, it makes does. good sense. Well, I, I mean, a new part of your life has definitely been skateboarding. Um, yeah. You've kind of discovered that in the last couple of years and you're really getting into it. Is it the community behind it? Because skateboarding in itself is a great release and relax, but is that what you're getting? Is that why you're skating? Is it more than just the da 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 um, What's the the Lupe Fiasco? Cool afternoon. Skateboard on tiles. Oh. Uh, I just I don't know, man. I think uh, it's just therapy for me a little bit. Like, yeah. I enjoy it. Just I don't really think about anything. Just practicing like my footwork and stuff. Well, the community gets off and smashes their skateboards when you land. Listen the big tricks and stuff like that, all the small tricks in the beginning. And I thought that might be something that you like. You know, you're getting praise for something other than yeah, music yeah, yeah, and yeah. being Justin Bieber. Yeah. At the VMAs during your performance, and I'm going to have to read it out, uh, we heard the VO say, which was you, sometimes you focus on the destination, forget to focus on the journey. When you fall, it allows you to get up stronger, it allows you to give into faith and believe in something bigger than yourself and find your purpose. What is your purpose? Do you know what that is yet? Do you feel like you've got that vision down and you know where you're going now? Uh, my purpose. I don't know what my purpose is. Um, I think I'm just slowly finding it every day. Um, I think all of our purpose is just to be kind to people and enjoy people's company and yeah. um, build cool relationships and have fun, enjoy well, life. Sounds like a bloody good purpose, mate. Yeah. You've been great. Uh, thank you so much for catching up with us. Thank you know you, you don't do many, many of these, so we appreciate no. your time. You're thank a you. legend. Thank, thank you so you much. You guys are awesome.